Hi there, I'm Kevin from Bake Boss, and I'm just in the middle of shooting an airbrush demo. So I thought what better time than to take one of our little Cape Craft extractor booths for a spin. Bear with me and I'll show you how it works. Cheers. And here we have the Cape Craft airbrush booth from Bake Boss. All you do to set it up is lay it on its back, unclip it from the bottom and open the lid, take the turntable out, set it aside, folding that bit up, set it the right way up again. Just going to turn it around for easy access. You lift that up and then you just grab it from the bottom and you concertina it out. You fold this piece up and lock it into place with the lid, like so. And you do the same on the other side. Locking that one in place first, and then that one. You can sit your turntable back into the unit again. Also in the side, there is a compartment to hold the power pack, which you just plug into the top and into the wall when you're away. Now you may be thinking that some of your cakes may be a little bit taller than this, so what you can do is remove the turntable, tip the unit up on its side, and place your turntable back there. It gives you a little bit more headroom. Okay, so we've turned the unit on. I'm just going to get a piece of paper and just show you how much suction this machine's got. Which is more than enough to carry any overspray from your airbrush jobs away from your face and your kitchen. There's also an additional flue kit that you can purchase for it. It's got about a one and a half meter length on it which means that you can vent it out of any door or window and it certainly keeps all the overspray coming back and hitting your cake. It's as simple as just taking it out of the box, screwing the four pieces together and then locking it onto the back of the machine uh, basically with a, with a thread. Um, it comes off that easily. So I hope that helps. I've got a cake to airbrush and I'll see you next time. Cheers.